Hey Scrappers, it's Tom from the iScrap app and today we're going to talk about brass. We're going to talk about yellow, we're going to talk about red. We're going to show you some different separating things and tips that you can learn from a scrap yard to help you make more money with your brass. Now in front of me I have a couple of different things. Here we have different brass pipe. This is a mixed one that hasn't been separated yet. Yellow pipe and red pipe. These pipes, when you have a lot of them, it's going to be worth more money per pound. You're going to want to work with your scrap yard to learn how to separate them and how to sort them. But when you go to cut them, if it cuts really clean, you can see that yellow on the end and then sometimes you can crimp it and you can also see what the yellow looks like there. Now the red brass will be a little darker in color. It has a little more copper inside so when you have the red brass you can compare it and it looks something like this. It looks very close but if you end up filing it you'll see the difference there. Now in front of me we also have some different faucets. These are some of the new age faucets that come off of the new sinks and a lot of these are die cast when you turn them over. Right here you're going to have a piece of steel. Underneath you will have a couple of pieces of copper but this used to be brass but with these being made overseas nowadays very often they're either die cast or some other low grade type of material. On top of that you're going to have stainless steel hoses attached which you should always cut off and you want to pay attention because certain handles these are going to be plastic believe it or not so by taking it and scratching it with a file you're going to know underneath you're also going to see a piece of plastic you're also going to see this different glue which makes it a lower quality of brass now here you're going to see yellow brass. While the box is in full because we just started it, what you can see is the color. The color is yellow and if you compare it to copper or another type of material, it's going to give you a really good idea. Let me give you a quick color comparison. This is a bronze symbol that came in scrap because someone obviously hit it too hard. When you look at the color difference between the bronze symbol and then this yellow brass, you can just see what a difference in color there is this has much more copper inside of it that's why it's red not all symbols are going to be bronze many of them could be a yellow brass and you will know just by looking at the color especially when you have something to compare it to now while we're on the subject of red brass let's go over the red brass box the red brass box is going to be exactly that. Red brass, also known as bronze, also known as comp, which is short for composition. Now, when you compare some of these, even though they might be a little dirty, you will see that it has a much more yellow color, excuse me, a much more red color to it, and that's why these match together. Now, when you go to separate your brass, if you want to make more money and you want to be able to sell it as a red brass or a bronze price, what you're going to have to do is work with your scrapyard to learn what their requirements are. Sometimes just separating it is one thing, but little things that have to be done, such as cutting it, when you look in a box like this, you have a big pipe here, you have a fitting that had a piece of steel attached to it that you cannot sell, but by cutting this off, you could create a red brass. Now while something like this is heavy, and you might say, hey Tom, why wouldn't the scrapyard buy it for a red brass? Well, once that steel is inside, you're never going to be able to make more money with it as a scrapyard, because when you hit that magnet to it and it sticks, right? You're going to have a problem because they can't sell this as a clean red brass. A piece like this has a um, zinc handle on the top. Sometimes they're die cast, sometimes they're aluminum. That has to get cut off also. Now sometimes you're going to have different tubes that come in. These really thin gauge tubes cannot go with your regular brass pipe. They're going to be thinner, which means they're going to melt in the furnace and they could burn up quicker. So many times your scrapyard will not buy this as a clean brass pipe. So you just want to look at it differently. Other thoughts, when you go to separate your brass, you're going to have little knobs on the end of copper that you're going to be able to cut off when you're taking this handle off. Every inch of copper, while it's not going to weigh a lot as a piece, once you start adding these pieces up you're going to make more money now these are some tips from a scrapyard owner at a scrapyard showing you how to make more money with your scrap if you have any other questions on brass aluminum copper steel or any of the abc's of the scrap world let us know but until next time i'll scrap you later